We can all agree that characters make the movies, right? Whether they're narrating it like Forrest Gump or Red from Shawshank Redemption or they're unlikely heroes like Axel Foley or Ace Ventura. Without the characters and people killing these characters, the movie just isn't what it's going to be. So here's my four favorite characters in movies. Number one, Brenda from the Scary Movie series. Listen. Nobody can mess up a movie experience quite like Brenda. I laugh hard as hell every time I watch Scary Movie. I know you better get out of my face. Out of my face. Out of my face. It's all me up in here. <laughs> ah, yo, nobody is funnier. And she's Cindy's best friend. She holds Cindy down until, like, Scary Movie 2 where, you know, Cindy fail and Brenda was hiding behind the wall. <laughs> hey, listen, man. She the best, though. She the best friend. This is how dope Brenda is. If you pay attention to the Scary Movie series, Brenda dies. And then they just bring her back with no explanation. None. They were like, we just not going to make movies without her. Just bring her back. Number two, Bane from Batman Rises. I know some of y'all are like, the Joker is the best villain. Well, that's to you. Joker's crazy. I like I like the swag of Bane, man. <laughs> the way he come through with the coat, holding the collar. I mean, he was a swaggy dude. And he was beating the hell out of Batman. <laughs> Yo, he's the first white person I can think of. I'm really comfortable with him saying nigga. Bane can say nigga. In the part where he goes, you merely abducted the dark. I was born in it. If he says, I was born in it. Fuck that nigga. I was molded by it. If he said that, I wouldn't even have noticed. I wouldn't even notice that nigga would have slid right over my head. Number three, Miranda Priestley from Devil Wears Prada. Look, I get picked on a lot because people ask me what my favorite five movies are. And I always put in Devil Wears Prada. I, I love Miranda Priestley, like just impossible to to please. And the way she looks at people, when, when that girl put together that outfit and Miranda looked at her like this, I was like, I know she wanted to die. I wanted to die for her. Or the monologue that she gives on Cerulean whenever Andy laughs. Yo, I I wanted to die for her, man. I've ne that's the most gangster. And it was about fashion, but she was still gangster. It was weird. Miranda Priestley was so gangster. It was like watching Nino Brown in New Jack City, but like the fashion version in a white woman. And number four is Major Benson Winifred Payne. I go back and watch this movie. I can't even believe that this movie got made the way he was talking to them kids. He told the kids on the first day that I'm in the business of killing and business is good. Nigga, oh my, you can't say that to kids. Man, he tried out for the police department. They told him to neutralize a domestic violence situation. And <laughs> said, so you like to beat women? <laughs> and slap the shit out of this dude until they put him in jail. Listen to me, man. Oh my God. When he was going to break Tiger's finger, when he asked, when he told him he got something to take his mind off the needle, everything, the story he told him, the bedtime story, who does that to a child? Man, he told a kid, <laughs> he told a kid that sneezed. He didn't say bless you. He said, how about you give me 25 push-ups to boost your immune system? <laughs> this is the craziest nigga of all time. And it's a kid's movie. One of the greatest characters of all time. That's my favorite four. Hey, let me know what some of y'all favorites. And uh, drop a line. Drop a line from one of your favorites. You can't just name your favorite and not say a part or a line. So tell me who your favorites are. Drop a line from the movie. Let's talk about it.